Actress Frances Fisher is well known for her lasting presence in the industry. Her talent and range have made her a symbol of quality. Whether it's her memorable roles or her commitment to acting, Fisher's influence reaches people everywhere. What's your favorite memory or personal experience with this great actor? Share your stories and thoughts below. And keep watching this video for more interesting facts. Frances Fisher was born in Milford, Ontario, Canada, on the banks of Lake Huron. Her parents were Olga Rosine, a homemaker, and William Irving Fisher, a farmer. Growing up, she developed a love for acting, inspired by her mother's involvement in local theater. She went to the University of Windsor's Drama School to improve her skills. One big moment that influenced her career was her move to New York City in the late 1970s. There, she became part of the lively theater scene, gaining experience and making connections. Later on, she moved into movies and TV, landing roles in various productions. Another important moment was her part in the movie Titanic in 1997. Playing Ruth DeWitt Bucator, she became widely known and praised, establishing herself as a talented actress in Hollywood. Throughout her career, her commitment to acting and her ability to take on different roles have been clear in her work in movies, TV shows, and theater. Her early experiences and her family's support were crucial in her journey to success. Frances Fisher, an actress born on the same date as Shore Agdeshlu, has played notable roles in House of Sand and Fog and The Expanse. She shared the screen with Agdeshlu in both productions. Her younger brother, William Fisher, born in 1958, was raised by Frances after their mother passed away in 1967. William became a spokesperson for the internet movement censure and move on, which opposed the Republican-led effort to impeach U.S. President Bill Clinton. In December 2001, Frances and her daughter, Francisca Eastwood, faced a harrowing experience when a fire engulfed their rented house in North Vancouver, B.C. Francisca, leaping 15 feet from a second-story window, was caught by her mother and a neighbor. Clint Eastwood, Francisca's father, rushed to the hospital where she was recovering from smoke inhalation. Frances Fisher's life has been marked by both personal challenges and professional successes, making her a figure of interest in the entertainment industry. The actress continues to contribute to various projects, demonstrating resilience in the face of adversity. The incident in December 2001, where a fire threatened her family, showcased her quick thinking and bravery. Frances Fisher, the grandmother of Titan Wraith Eastwood, son of her daughter Francisca Eastwood and fitness trainer Alexander Wraith, has had an interesting journey. After finishing high school in 1970, she started working as a nanny before moving to Manhattan for her career. One memorable moment in her career was playing Strawberry Alice in the movie Unforgiven. During the Academy Awards, Fisher, who was four months pregnant, kept her pregnancy a secret, as instructed by Clint Eastwood, for fear it might overshadow his Oscar win for Best Director. When Eastwood won, Fisher's attempt to congratulate him was ignored and it was only later that she revealed her hidden pregnancy. Francesca Eastwood's birth on August 7, 1993, was kept secret, with the news only coming out after her birth certificate was filed. Interestingly, some media mistakenly thought Francesca was Clint's third child, but she is actually one of many. Over the years, more children came to light, revealing Clint Eastwood's family situation. From starting out as a nanny to dealing with the complexities of Hollywood, Fisher's journey shows resilience and determination. Frances Fisher, known for her roles in various movies and TV shows, shares a close friendship with Beth Grant and Deane Ladd. She has been a constant presence in Hollywood circles, her warmth and talent endearing her to many. Her goddaughter, Jasmine Joshua, is the daughter of Larry Joshua, a respected figure in the industry. Before moving in with Clint Eastwood, she lived with her brother in an apartment. It was a modest setup, but it provided her with the support and camaraderie she needed during her early days in the city of dreams. Their bond as siblings was strong, and they navigated the challenges of pursuing their passions together. Her journey in Hollywood has been marked by both triumphs and challenges. She has encountered countless individuals who have left a lasting impression on her life and career. Beth and Deane, her close friends, have been pillars of strength through it all, offering support and encouragement during both the highs and lows. Jasmine, her goddaughter, holds a special place in her heart, a reminder of the importance of family and connection amidst the glitz and glamour of the entertainment industry. As she reflects on her path to success, she is grateful for the relationships she has cultivated along the way. 
Each person she has encountered has contributed to her growth and development as an artist and as a person. From humble beginnings in that apartment shared with her brother to the heights of stardom and recognition, her journey has been nothing short of extraordinary. And through it all, she remains grounded and true to herself, a testament to her resilience and determination. Indeed, her story is one of perseverance, friendship, and the lasting power of dreams. Actress Frances Fisher, known for her roles in various films and TV shows, appeared alongside Billy Zane in a show years before their roles in Titanic. In the movie The Stars Fell on Henrietta, her real-life daughter, Francesca Eastwood, played her youngest child. Additionally, Fisher portrayed Donna Garcia in Striptease, where her character's daughter, Francesca Eastwood, was involved with Harry Morton, who also dated Demi Moore and her daughter, Rumor Willis. Fisher's career spans across different genres and platforms, showcasing her versatility and talent. The Stars Fell on Henrietta marked an early collaboration between Fisher and Billy Zane. In Striptease, Fisher's character, Donna Garcia, faced challenges with her daughter's relationship with Harry Morton. Fisher's ability to navigate various roles highlights her talent as an actress. Actress Frances Fisher has made significant contributions to both film and television. She starred in notable works like Unforgiven and Titanic, both of which are recognized by the Library of Congress for their cultural or historical significance. In the TV series Just As I Am, she played Dr. Weaver's mother, a role originally intended for Sissy Spacek. Fisher's portrayal brought depth to the character in that episode. Interestingly, she was first chosen for the role of Jill Taylor on Home Improvement in 1991. However, she was replaced by Patricia Richardson due to perceived chemistry issues with Tim Allen. This change brought Richardson into the role and shifted the dynamics of the show. Frances Fisher's career has seen success in various roles, despite some changes in casting along the way. Whether on screen or television, her work remains noteworthy. Frances Fisher, an American actress, strongly supported Bernie Sanders' 2016 run for president. Even though she was born in England, both her parents are American and she is a U.S. citizen. She grew up in Texas, where she became passionate about acting and social issues. She's also been an active member of the Screen Actors Guild, using her position to speak up for fellow actors and workers' rights in showbiz. Her involvement in politics and work in entertainment shows her very background and firm dedication to causes she cares about. Through her actions, she motivates many to speak out for positive change. This was Frances Fisher, an actress recognized for her roles in various films and TV shows, shares a close bond with Sharon Gabbett, whom she met during their time on the edge of night. Born in New Forest, Hampshire, England, she has American parents. Her father's ancestry traces back to Russian Jewish and Hungarian Jewish roots, while her mother has Norwegian heritage. Despite being only five years older than Laura in this, her co-star playing her daughter on Ur, and eight years older than Julian Moore, who portrayed her daughter in Laws of Attraction, Fisher's acting skills transcend age. Even with a nine-year age gap, she convincingly portrayed Joanne Wally's daughter in Jackie Bouvier Kennedy Onassis. Fisher's ability to embody diverse roles showcases her versatility as an actress. Her connections and talents have made a significant impact on the entertainment industry.